Hey everybody, welcome back on In. Uh, I am Ezra. And I'm Melly. <laughs> I'm <And>? Smelly. <laughs> <laughs> and we're actually here to continue playing uh, Call of Cthulhu. We got on to Chapter 3 of the Hawkins Mansion, where we are going to continue exploring everything that is in the Hawkins Mansion to uncover what has happened to the Hawkins family. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, is Melly keeping a uh, southern voice or <laughs> what? That's not southern. <laughs> I'm not southern. <laughs> Wait, no, that's western. Western or just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I ain't doing no accent. <laughs> hey, I'm just curious what Melly's natural accent is. That is all. I don't. <laughs> could be anything. It really could. For all I, for all we know, it could be using a fake voice this entire time. Mm. None of it might be real. Oh, oh yeah. Thing. Forgot we're going inside. Yep. Who left this light on? Who let the dogs? Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's put one spot hidden. Okay. Well, I thought he was gonna walk into that door. <laughs> it's like that's very good AI. It's very, very good AI. Hmm. Or whatever it's called. Is the gal over the entryway? It's very, very. Is that green? Fire? You. How long has that been there? Uh, it's their way of doing gas. <laughs> no, the meat. The meat? Yeah, on the table. Oh, just the like... last supper of the Hawkins. You and they what haven't cleaned up. What does this tell me? Wait, I thought it. Oh, never mind. I was like, didn't it get burned down? That's so bright. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's start off with the meat. Ew, what is what that, kind of meat is this? It's like a big giant octopus head. It does. Weird. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Huh. What's he doing? Looks like he is shouting. He looks like he's about to fight something. Hmm. So let's look around. Oh, here we go. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Why? Did you look at that dinner? <laughs> True. <laughs> Father's like, no, you shut Sarah up and Hawkins eat that. Plate. Why did she leave it untouched? She's gonna eat it at least. Something happened at this table. An argument? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't eat that. Cause they were, it looks like he was about to start eating it. And was like, ew, no. <laughs> like, He's like, this is all we have. You better eat it. I paid for it with my own money. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. Yes, this dinner table visions. tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Ooh, I love the thunder. Thunder. Hear the thunder. Hmm. Sarah Hawkins thunder. and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Until... Wait, only two of them? Only two perfect people? Only two. Only two? The rest of them... Father is not in the picture. Notice that. Yeah. What about the daughter, too? There's no daughter. I thought they had a daughter. Nope. Wait, what? There's only a son, Simon. Wait, what? 
Wasn't there a daughter, though, that did the pictures? That's Sarah. Who's... That's the wife. Oh, the wife? Yeah. The wife is the one Charles that and Sarah's crazy. wedding was painted mm -hmm. by Sarah herself. Huh. Yeah. That's so... Was Charles I Hawkins was... some kind of explorer? I thought it was the daughter this whole time. No! Okay, okay, so let's backtrack. In the very beginning, the first person we meet is her father. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Her father, because he is wanting to learn about what happened to her. That's why she, why he hired uh, Pierce. Yeah. So you go here, you are investigating her family, her husband and her son who died in a mysterious fire. Not her? Well, yeah, she like the entire Hawkins family dies. Huh. Yeah. That... <laughs> I, I said this last video, and, and I'm just reiterating it again. You gotta pay attention, I sweetie. Was. I swear, I think I need to give you a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> no. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier just way. Just climb over. Who climbs over? <laughs> Apparently not him. Apparently he's too fancy for that. Mm hmm. Okay, I think I got everything there. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Probably. Oh, wait. Pierce. One more spot hidden. Hmm, go look for some hidden spots. Yeah. Now we have a 50% chance of finding it. Finding what? Finding stuff. Kind of stuff. A body! The child's corpse left a trace. Yikes. Where are the others? So this is where the fire happened. If the painting I found on the docks really Freaky. came from here, how come it didn't burn? Exactly. That's kind of sus. Beer! Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Whiskey! <laughs> That's risky. It's risky behavior. A uh, thing. They had a fight. Why? That's how the fire started. A Did shoe? Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? Wait. How? All right, so, Madam Detective, what is your conjecture seeing these? Well, obviously, she she took off her shoe and chucked it at her husband, and her husband got mad, and so she, and then he, he, no, she drew a picture of her shoe, like she took her shoe off to draw a picture, but the picture turned into something else, and then he got mad because he thought that she was drawing a picture of her shoe. And so he was like, you lied to me. You said you were drawing a shoe. <laughs> I think you're going way too often. Did it stop at the time of the fire? Hmm. And the son, the poor, the poor boy, he was just caught in the middle of this stupid argument. Did someone escape the fire? What? And then that guy, like, came out of nowhere and just took the shoe. Blood. This lamp was thrown. At this was somebody. No accident. It was a murder. This was a fight. Against what? That's the question. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. Ooh. Huh. A. Uh... And the boy. A soldier. So, detective, what do you make of it? You missed a whole bunch of stuff. Let's do. I think that some yeah. of your colleagues should turn in their badges. 
This room is bursting with evidence that seriously contradicts the official inquiry. Well, of course, Mr. Holmes. Like what? Um, well, first of all... Some... I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Charles sure liked that drink. No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily to calm down. Charles, most probably. That's pretty thin. Who says that bottle hadn't been there for a while? Well, why would they just leave it there? I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. What? Without your authorization. By whom? Marshal yeah. Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. So... Well, yeah, somebody. It would seem at fire. least one person fled the crime scene. What you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slid down there. The left side has no mark. The door was open, and that someone left. For God's sake! I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. Maybe they would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help. I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, and Wait. Silas banged on our door around oh. 1 a.m. Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides, Dr. Cray -cray. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already have stopped. Honestly, you don't find that suspicious. That's, That's troubling, sus. I have to admit. But I trust Silas. And Dr. Fuller is an authoritative figure. The mainland folks are damned envious that he's here with us. A brilliant surgeon and a friend of the family. I'm sure he took the matter to heart. I see no reason to doubt his word. So be it. Let's move on. Mm-hmm. To the next... Which one? Uh, let's just do the first one. I firmly yeah. believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Murder! Uh, blah. They... I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. Yeah. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. How so? To continue the investigation, my dear Watson. True, true. You really want to find those hidden spots, huh? Well, why not? <laughs> what if there are no hidden spots? Oh, they are hidden. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Well, then why are you doing it? It's so creaky in here. This door is locked. Just kick it open. It's a mousey! History of medicine. Noise. Knowledge in head. <laughs> Knowledge in the noggin. Knowledge has been noggified. <laughs> it's blood. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? If I was going to make a joke, but that would have been terrible. <laughs> Look at all those books. Oh, can we go upstairs? Of course. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. There 
one, two, three, that put to see. Nope, not, that's the wrong one. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. A thing. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a dude. It's the guy. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Somebody like An original read. edition of okay. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. <laughs> wow, so good. You gotta read it twice. Don't like that sound. Hello, Mr. Popo. Hmm. Moby Dick. Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. It's all about them whales. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Hey, what do you call a... What do you call a giant... What do you call a very, very sad... Sea... What do you call a very, very sad giant sea mammal? Wallow. <laughs> no. A whaler. A whaler. Because <laughs> he's whaling. <laughs> he's a whaling. <laughs> a book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Ah. More medical books. Human bodies? Man, if we try and read all those books, we're going to be here forever. Can we confirm that there was never a daughter? <laughs> yes. 100% there is no daughter. What's with all the gassy green lights? Oh, because it's whale oil. Does it smell? Probably. Interesting. Dark water history. Dark this place water. Was settled back the in dark water history. By two families that seceded from the New England colonies. It's the dark water colonies. With all them dogs and the water and the the bosses. A book on hunting whales. <laughs> the island's staple diet last century. One of Sarah Hawkins paintings. I'm sorry. The style sure is recognizable. That's a painting? Yes, that is a painting. What is it? What is it? It looks like a... a something. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Hmm. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Rare edition by Jules hmm. Verne. Ready for the next leg. The what? The whaty? The next section. The what? Yeah, Where'd the popo go? He's Mr. Downstairs. Popo! What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Whoa, slow down. I didn't even read it yet. Mm -mm. Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Mm -mm. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. <gasps> I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems able to make her come to her senses. Oh, yes. If these services were to recur believe me that although it would be would feel like torture i'd be obliged to involve the police respectfully yours anton wellert no it's anton they're american not french oh well mm. oh man 
I just want to go down the stairs. We were just down the stairs. How did we get there? Ooh, lightning. What? Oh, I thought you were going to jump. <laughs> I was like, that'd be cool. Catch it! Oh. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, it's too hot? Mm -hmm. hmm. Locked. Interesting. There is something mighty sus. Nani? He? That's why he gets spot hidden. Where are we going now? What's in here? The boys' room. Oh. Flashback. Oh. The child's nice. fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Hmm. Probably just having like. He has Tom a Sawyer. big imagination. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. He looks kind of scared. Ooh. Sounds kind of creepy. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What? What was wrong with this family? What is going on? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Hmm. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. Cthulhu little. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Poor boy. Poor kiddo. Poor lad. Alright, we're looking for something here. Oh, there we go. Another key? The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. Hmm. Simon's private journal. He seemed worried about his mother and her attacks. Attacks? Ten her attacks, yeah. Okay. Tension. Attacks. I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> Shh, just hold the questions. They generally get but answered. I like questions. Tension also seems to be growing between the Hawkins couple. Could the fire be the result of an argument? Like, like, like panic attacks or like it's like physical attacks or? That's what I want to know. Let's find out. Ooh, that's not normal. Someone been making sacrifices. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? That's not good. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Charles Hawkins scribbled a kind word to his wife. Aww. Fate brought us together and forever will will bind us. Unless that's, like, <laughs> something else. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Dang. Maybe I should paint. <laughs> 1,160? Once. 1680? It's for an Wait, exhibit. Why was one returned? That's interesting. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Hmm. My very dear Sarah, 
ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island. Your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I begged you to send me some new paintings. The last one so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been, are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Hmm. I don't know, that seems a little manipulative. Just a little bit. The door is blocked on the other side. Oh, man. Yeah, what are these claw mark things? Bradley? Is that you? Nope. He ain't go this far. What will her room reveal about her? I'm scared. It's too quiet. <gasps> Don't like the creakies. Look for green dust. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Wait, what? Barbiturates, they act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that, I know something. Huh. I don't want to go in here. <laughs> Perfect. Nice, nice. It just, it's the one that connects over. Oh. Uh, Something's gonna happen. I just know it. Up oh, there we go. Sketch pad. Yep, Sarah Hawkins sketches look more like a gallery of horrors than anatomical studies. Do they represent what haunts her nights? Hmm. We've got some progression in the occult. Dun. Where'd the police guy go? Is anyone there? Uh oh, <laughs> not a cutscene. Did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. You sure you want to go back there? I can see clearly now. Oh, I'll cover you. Yes, I feel much safer now with Mr. Popo. <laughs> we really gotta get- This door was closed earlier. Huh. Very interesting. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. Hmm. 
dang. <laughs> then let's go. Okay, what's next? Uh, what's psychology? Psychology represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or analysis of objects. Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. I don't know. What are you thinking? I think we've got enough spot hidden for now. <laughs> Maybe psychology? Okay. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Seems like this came from a log. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, come back to this. Okay. Uh, Monday, May 24th, 1847. Darkwater Island. Okay, yeah, well. We'll come back to this. It's kind of a shipping log. Hmm. So many keys. It looks like an old oh, seaway map. Scylla, the prodigal, prodigal, prod how do you say that? Prodigal? The prodigal. Prodigal. The Orpheus. The and sink. Cladding. Yes, cladding. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Charles Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. Ooh, that's not good. Sociopath. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. Maybe the Scylla. We should go. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. Nice. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. Let's go. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Do nothing. I'd be better off not touching them for the moment. More As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Bum, bum, bum. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Interesting. Spin it. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Oh, maybe you gotta line it up a certain way. There must be a link with right. the seaway map. So, 42 north, 70 west, dark out. Sailed north all morning. Uh, then, yeah. He says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. I preferred it when the whales disappear without a trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. What is eating these huge beasts? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. We dropped anchor near a village. <laughs> Uh, the inhabitants say that the waters are red with blood of the sa of the sacred beasts, and to follow them 
is to defy the gods. I told him that I only feared God Almighty, but in loneliness, in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Uh, we have sighted a huge well in the distance. It, its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. We've caught it. 33 North, 53 West. Okay. It is the most grotesque well I've ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memories as the biggest catch. Men have died, but have gained glory. This day this will be celebrated for no. years to come. <laughs> I was going to say, now it tastes a lot better. <laughs> Dark Water, we have beaten the Orpheus, return, yeah, the Orpheus, returned with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. So, let's try 33 North, 53 West. Wait, there must be a link with the Seaway map. 33, 53. Alright, one second here. 33. 3 degrees north and 50. Oh, nice. Looks like it worked. Wow. Well done, Pierce. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. I like his accent. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? More than just a tunnel. I think Look, we should come back with someone's been here recently. Three seats. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Hmm. Whatever Charles so Hawkins So it was hit, him! He didn't want it in his house. Not his wife. I bet he started this. And who were what those? What is this mask supposed to represent? Those Voldemort creatures. <laughs> Voldemort dudes. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? Hmm. That poor Whoever boy. Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? Disfigured saint. What does it mean? It's Cthulhu. Little. <laughs> this padlock is too complicated for me. <sighs> oh, not enough. <laughs> Of course. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. Somebody! There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, 
I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. I wouldn't trust that water. This is like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. Huh. That old, huh? Mm-hmm. These paintings must be several centuries old. Sad way to go. Um. Sad way to go. <laughs> Sad way to go. An old diary. Daria, the pastor's wife, volume two. Huh? In this volume, there is mention of the beliefs of the lost tribe. They worship an entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to the glory of their deity. What? It's a dolphin this monster This monstrous thing. creature must be an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? Uh, maybe they're sacrifices. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. It's Atlantis. It's Rayla. Rayla? The city in which Cthulhu sleeps. Are we going to meet that creature thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -oh. We got one point to spend. How about maybe strength? <laughs> strength? I don't know why, but I feel like we're going to need it. Hmm. Psychology. Fine. Time has weakened these structures. I don't have time to search them all. Looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. Mm -hmm. What? It's frog oil. Cooking something? Whoa. 
What's going on here? Uh oh. Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? <laughs> kind of cult. We'll Welcome. See. I'll go on. Welcome Try to go down to on your team. side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh, wait, that's just the lighting. Mm -hmm. I was like, ew, green goop. Whoa. Ew. A table for sacrifice? What even is that? It's a shark. It looks like the tail of a shark. A it mass is. grave. Ew. What's that? A person? I'm gonna guess the entrails of the shark. Ew! Is that him? Wait a second. Oh no! Oh no! I got it. Ew. Oh, it can't breathe. What's happening? We gotta get out of here. Dang, the actor did a really good job on this, though. Yes, they did. Ooh, that's scary, though. He's definitely gonna be a sacrifice or something. No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. You was with the. Just swarming. wanted to double check. Go. He went to find another way down. No, 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 no. The guy that fell with him. Yes. It is time. I don't know. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. Huh? I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. Uh... It's like in my dream. Oh, no. It was a vision! Yeah, just curious. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. Huh. Looks sharp. I'm very observant, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Pre-classical Latin? Hmm. Let's see what it says. What is this awakening they talk about? And this sacred flesh? The echoiness of this whole place makes it worse. Now it really is the dream sequence from the beginning. No. Hopefully it doesn't completely replay. <clears throat> oh yeah, this part. The monster.
How has no one noticed him? I'm gonna need oil. It looked like he was holding a baby. Oh, he, it kind of does. You who sleep, accept this dream of a new immortal being. Cthulhu? Yeah, Cthulhu Nithsaha. Oh, sorry, Cthulhu. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Damn it. Gibbethnuk, a pad locked. Cthulhu Bithencor. Bithencor. Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and yours. They're just gonna keep repeating this over and over again? No. You loig pad Cthulhu loigna. Grant him your dreams and accept his. So that the paths of your souls finally intertwine. Hmm. I... I feel him. Uh-oh. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. Ew, look at all these guts. We pray for your return. How many sacrifices? Bring me more sacred flesh. What? What is sacred flesh? I'm gonna guess that might be the sharks. Hmm. Oh no. Are they alive? Dead. <gasps> what? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? Yeah. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Is he talking about you? No, I'm talking about that kid over there. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. They should have brought reinforcements. What in the world is this? No, Mr. Popo! I'm intruder! Oh shit! He has Don't an move. octopus arm. Police! Don't move! Uh-oh. Oh no. I won't hesitate! Bradley, get I back! Show. Get back! You asked for it! Uh-oh. No, Mr. Coco. Oh, whoa. Charles. You shouldn't have seen this. That's... He's a... What? No, Mr. Popo! <laughs> I'm caving in. I need to get out of here.
My leg. <laughs> my leg. My leg. Uh, oh. So that's a cultist. Yikes. Another cultist. It's a lot of cultists. We're almost there. Light. At last. And then boom. <laughs> Oof. I knew it. Okay, I think that's a good place to end this episode. No. No. Yes. No. We will continue. We're going to split the recording. We will continue this one in the next video. But. <laughs> so we'll see you guys over in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>